Sri Lanka after a long flight. So we just got home a while back and we just had lunch and god it does feel nice to be back. Um, yeah, as you if you guys had watched the last vlogs from last year, you can probably remember this familiar TV room. You can also probably remember the familiar study, yeah, where I did my work at that very desk. And, in fact, my grandma has even left everything the way she had left it, all like this, before she passed on, which is kind of really upsetting, really, but, yeah, very moving. Hey, guys, I don't know whether you remember seeing this, but this is my mum's room, mum, my mum and dad's room, at the top floor. <laughs> You get a very nice view and yeah just came up to see if I can turn on the air conditioner for them and get it running so yeah I'll show you the other rooms in a bit and this guys you I don't know whether I showed you this but this is my grandma's room I don't know whether you can remember which is still locked as she had left it we haven't found the key yet but you know, we'll find, we'll find it somehow, but, yeah, but, and also this you will know very well. This is our own room, and as you can see, Rue's already getting acclimatised to this room, but trying to open his bag, that's, that's the first challenge to it all, but anyway, I'll talk to you guys a bit later when something happens because at the moment we're going to unpack and just sort of settle in. Because to be honest it does feel like our grandma is around still in this place um, and she's always around so um, it doesn't feel that different apart from her actually, you know, wandering around the house and talking to us and welcoming us. Um, which we do really miss a lot, but anyway. Hey guys, so I've just got Shad and ready, and I'm supposed to be going out shopping with my mum in a while, but I'm told my cousin that is here, so let's go and see him. Hey guys, how are you? Um, yeah, so um, in the end our cousin didn't come because um, they were at a party and apparently, yeah, it would have been too late and we would have been tired too. But in a bit, I'm going to go out. It's now actually 7.31, and I'm going to go out in a bit with my mum and do some shopping for breakfast tomorrow morning. And yeah, just get a few things in. And um, yeah, but it was nice today that um, we got greeted by such a surprise of quite a few family friends um, who came to the airport, because we were expecting to turn up to the airport and then, if you like, order a cab or, as you guys around the world, if you like, a taxi. Um, and yeah, um, we we're going to order a taxi and go get home that way, but a few of our family friends showed up, which was nice of them, and took us home in their 
big van, which was nice, and yeah. So um, that was great, and very nice to actually see them because uh, when we arrived back at the house it was quite emotional because we were sort of used to our grandma actually coming to the airport with us, but since she's no longer here unfortunately, which was really, it really made me feel very upset and my mum upset and the rest of the family upset. Um, yeah, we were feeling as if, you know, she's still around and she would come around the corner at any point sort of asking something or the other, but yeah. It does definitely feel like she is still around though, um, but, you know, it's quite a moving experience going through her things um, around because my mum had given me my grandma's phone, which was, you know, see, this was what she was using, um, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>